Stefan, hey. Hi, nice to meet you. Now I said Stefan and Mark. Uh, Mark. Where uh, is Mark? He said he wants to pick up something. Ah, here he is. Ah. Yo, yeah. Hey there, Mark. Hey, welcome. Hey, well, guys, enjoy, enjoy your presentation. Thank you, Chris. <coughs> what a nice e-scooter, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> it's really surprise, nice surprise. It's it was a year ago or so we talked about, and now you already ordered one. Yeah, I don't want to just talk about it anymore. I just did it, and it was a really great decision, and it's really pure fun. And uh, two weeks ago, I have been in Paris, and just have a look on the picture here. There are everywhere already e-scooters, so I'm not the only one who bought that. So, in my opinion, e-mobility will change our driving ambient. Yeah. I, I can imagine that also our audience here, some people of you already ordered an e-bike, for example, or an e-car, or thinking about e-mobility. Is there someone? One, two. A few. At least they are discussing it daily or thinking about to buy one. Yeah, and it's getting well, more and more. Uh, people change to e-mobilities, e-vehicle. Exactly. Yeah, and that, at the end, will increase the demand of the battery cell factories because the core of each e-vehicle is the battery. It's a small piece. Batteries. Okay, this is not, uh, not a big one, so it's not uh, big enough for an <laughs> e-car, for example. We need <laughs> more than 6,000. E huh? We need thousands of them and um, yeah we are here to present solutions to create a better battery present innovative solutions for battery manufacturing my name is Stefan Weber I'm heading a marketing team of machine building and with me is Mark yeah Mark Data I'm doing the global battery business development batteries are needed and today one thing is a fact Today, we do not have enough gigafactories all over the world. And before we come to the solutions we provide for battery manufacturing, first, pick out the challenges which arise. Because it's a challenge not only for, for startups, also for established companies to upscale their production for the need of battery cells in the future. And other challenges arise. Yeah, as we know, if a new technology is rising up, so uh, we need more material. And uh, especially in the battery, there are chemical processes and they need raw materials. And we from Siemens would like to already reduce the use of raw material to keep it also for our upcoming generation safe. Yeah, yeah and the uh, battery size and format of the e-scooter or the battery in your hand or the battery in a e-car is different. So different cell formats and also different technologies, <coughs> lithium ion or solid state, that makes a flexible production mandatory. Yeah, within flexible production, uh, the complexity is rising up quite fast. So to reuse this, you need a transparency about your production plant to be able and to reduce maybe finally also the final battery price. And the production has to be productive and the cells has to be produced in a high quality. And that's a challenge to keep the quality constantly, uh, constant and high right. in a factory. Yeah. High quality high. means also good battery. So we from Siemens start already in the product development. So when you talk about designing a battery, we already talk in the electrochemical composition. So with our simulation tools, you are able to receive the best recipe, finally, and the mixing ratio that will be reused later on the production line. So this will reduce already the raw material or even maybe avoiding using critical ones like cobalt. Huh? And one step further, so designing the battery format, as Steph mentioned, we have cylindric, prismatic, or pouch. It's not easy to validate the measures and the density, the energy density inside the battery. But this is finally the key to achieve a high capacity. And that means also long distance of the e-car. And we want to make our customers happy, maybe also you when you buy e-car 
So this is a really important goal to optimize it already in the design phase. One step further, when you use these battery cells, these small ones like I showed you, so in an e-car, there are 6,000 of these installs. And they have dependencies on each other, like thermical behavior, air conditioning, or balancing. And this is what we do with our simulation. We already reach the best arrangement of the battery cells to avoid maybe weight and size in a car. Maybe you have then the size for shopping bags or something else. Yeah. And using the data from the product design, the data can also be used for the machine design. The machine production produced the battery cells. I picked out one core process of battery cell manufacturing, the winding process. And with the help of the digital twin of the machine, the optimum mechanical behavior can be engineered, also the kinematics for that process. And in the winding process, there are different formats, prismatic winding, for example. And therefore, with the help of efficient engineering with TR portal and libraries, which are pre-defined, and we deliver these libraries to you, it's mm -hmm. easy to engineer this prismatic winding process, for example. Yeah, and at the end, faster machine development helps to keep the flexibility of the production high and makes the, the machine development itself uh, faster. And that's also a key fact yeah, and, and necessary to shorten time. Yeah, and this is one winding machine. Yeah, and um, I guess one winding machine is not enough. No, for sure not in a gigafactory. I don't know. Do you think? Do you know how many winding machines are inside in a gigafactory? What do you think? 20, 40, 200 thousands? No, but there are more than 60 winding machines installed in a gigafactory, coating, assembly, and calendaring. So there are a lot of different processes within a battery production line. And that means it's a complexity. And you have to handle it already before building it in real. And this is what we do with our plant simulation. Uh, we support the customers, our customers, you, with the planning of the whole plan and the dependencies on the processes. So the material flow can be optimized, the energy consumption of the machine. And finally, you will get a map that you also reuse then to build system architecture of the automation, for example. This is a really benefit and reduce finally also the risk of your investment and secure it. And this is important. One step further, when we're coming to real production, because this is since still virtual, but we want to produce in real, because just real counts. We use this plant simulation model with the system architecture to develop machine modules and interfaces and parameters that can be defined with our standardization. So you use it to have a faster machine integration and also to optimize the whole processes together. This will have impact finally also to be delivery. For example, nobody is waiting five hour years for a car. So the process stability, we keep it under control. And the operators have always the transparency about the whole production. But I don't know. When we figured out there is an instability in the process, Stefan, would you be able to optimize it? For sure. <laughs> <laughs> we can. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I, have, I have one example here. The, the whole process of battery, battery fan, uh, manufacturing, yeah, is there, are, there are different um, detail processes. One process is the winding process. And we have one example to keep the performance of the real winding machine high and to have an optimized and a continuously optimization. The answer is industrial edge. Have you already informed yourself about industrial edge? So industrial edge is one future technology. We have it here on the booth and presented and also in our winding application. With the help of Edge, it is possible to continuously measure the data 
of each axis in that winding process and compare it to the digital model and figure out where, are, where there are some instabilities in the processes are. And with that help and with that information, it is possible to keep the, the process quality high. Yeah, apropos high. Uh, we, we would like to support you when you becoming a manufacturer or machine builder for battery with our solutions like we have shown. So the simulation of the battery before producing it. Then with the digitalization, do the planning of the plant. With our engineering, the semantics, the hardware, and the software, you can use battery libraries and finally need to standardize. That's becoming easier to produce and to fulfill this demand that it's coming up for sure and will change our future. So, Stefan. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, our pro products are used in several industries, several branches, and several technologies and machines. And we are confident that our products will have a positive impact also on the battery manufacturing process in future. And what we want to do now is we want to invite you to discuss with us our use cases here on the booth, on the battery showcase, yes. right in the middle of the booth. So it's not that far away. You can go there for a walk, but if it is too far for you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then you can ask Mark. Siemens, ingenuity for life.